Today, a big announcement from the Sacramento City Unified School District. Leaders say they don't have the resources to impose their upcoming COVID-19 mandates, which were supposed to take hold in just a few days. KCRA's Aaron Heft has the details of what parents were told this morning. In-person learning will continue until further notice. This announcement hit Sac City Unified parent inboxes this morning. Why? They say they don't have enough resources to meet their COVID-19 mandate. The district had planned to mandate student vaccinations or weekly testing. The deadline was February 28th, and if not met, students were to be moved to an at-home independent study program. But as of right now, 3,080 students in their district have not yet reported their status, meaning over 3,000 students could be moved to at-home learning at the end of this month. Now their district says it is clear that SCUSD does not have the capacity in our independent study program for a significant increase in enrollment. And because of that, in-person learning will continue until further notice. Meanwhile, staff who don't meet the COVID-19 requirement by the deadline will be placed on un paid leave. This while the district announces plans to bring back field trips, extracurriculars, group tours and more, all as early as Tuesday. The district said their goal is to improve COVID-19 safety in our community, protect the health of students and staff, and keep our schools open for in-person learning. Sac City Unified is expected to address their inability to meet their mandate in a Board of Education meeting scheduled for the beginning of March. In Sacramento, Erin Heft, KCRA 3 News. We know the district continues to urge parents to report their child's vaccine status or consent to weekly testing.